want to get you to some breaking news that we are following out of Northeast Houston right now. The end of a police chase. The suspect just moments ago bailing out of the vehicle and then fleeing into that wooded area that you see there on your screen. Close to a half dozen Houston police officers ran into that wooded area after him. This all started around 2 o'clock this afternoon. The suspect fleeing from police, weaving his way through parts of Northeast Houston, along Hardy Road, East Ritchie, and at one point driving into a Sam's Club parking lot, and then continuing on some side streets there before bailing out of the vehicle in this wooded area. We're working on finding out what cross streets this is, but we witnessed uh, some very tense moments there as the suspect was weaving in and out of traffic, trying to avoid the other drivers on the road. You can see uh, quite a bit of police activity. It looks like they are at Kirkendall. So this is up in northeast Houston, we are told. Uh, several law enforcement vehicles, HPD vehicles there, one vehicle there with its lights flashing. Again, we witnessed uh, close to a half dozen law enforcement agents, uh, Houston police officers, chase after that suspect on foot who was somewhere in that wooded area after bailing out of the vehicle. It's unclear what sparked this chase, why the suspect, the driver, was running from police in the first place. Uh, but it came to an end here just moments ago, and you can see a heavy law enforcement presence there as this chase has now turned into a manhunt on foot for that suspect who again uh, was fleeing from police for the better part of 20 minutes. Uh, we are several unknowns at, at this hour, including who this person is, why he was running from police in the first place, and whether the vehicle he was driving was his or if it was stolen. So still a lot of unknowns. It's a very fluid situation as these tend to be. Uh, certainly something to consider here. Uh, recently, the Houston Police Department revised its chase policy. Uh, the new policy stating that officers can't start chases for minor thefts, traffic violations, or misdemeanor warrants. In addition, that supervisors have to approve all pursuits. Uh, this is a lot broader than the two rule pursuit policy that was uh, initially suggested by a think tank report. Over the years, we've been reporting on the host of changes and revisions that have been made to HPD's policy. If you are just joining us here close to 2.30 on a Friday, right before a holiday weekend, we are following the end of a police pursuit that is now turned into a manhunt on foot in that wooded area that you see right there on your screen. The chase coming to an end at Kirkendall. We're not sure what other what the other cross street is, but we watched before coming on the air here the suspect bailing out of his vehicle after weaving through traffic for several minutes and watched as he ran off into that wooded area following him at least a half dozen Houston police officers, clearly uh, the number of law enforcement officers involved in this manhunt has grown. And you can see that by the heavy police presence there at the scene. You see several officers uh, standing around that HPD SUV right now. Uh, again, we are working to find out more information about how this started, whether the vehicle involved was stolen and, and who this suspect is. It's unclear if police even know who they're chasing, the identity of the, the driver that they're chasing. So a, a lot of unknowns and a very fluid situation. Again, like most chases are, uh, the information playing coming minute by minute, the situation unfolding minute by minute uh, as we work to get more information. Um, but certainly it is something that we're going to be keeping an eye on here throughout the afternoon. And we're going to have the very latest coming up on our news at 3. But again, uh, a host of law enforcement officers now involved in this pursuit, which is a pursuit on foot. That suspect bailing out of the vehicle after about 20 minutes into a wooded area. Uh, stay with us. We're going to have another update for you coming up at 252.